Alex Blake on YouTube is asking. I want to know if it is possible to fire an active radar guided missile like the MRAM from a plane that does not have a radar. And we are answering right now. Welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. To answer Alex's question in a very short format, the answer is yes. But stay with me because there are a few interesting considerations to do. So, first things first. To use an air-to-air -air missile from a plane, the missile needs to be integrated with the plane systems. Integration means that the, the missile needs to be able to be carried properly, to separate from the plane safely, and crucially needs to be able to speak with the avionics of the plane. Uh, for the transport, the missile, every missile, is designed to be connected with the pylons or point of transport within the base. There are standards, obviously, for that. Basically, uh, you can just take every missile, strap it onto a plane and use it. So the first step is to ensure that there is a mechanical compatibility between the weapon and the plane. The second point of the integration is that the weapon must be able to clear the plane in a safe way. It may seem trivial, but it's not. The history of the missile development is full of cases in which the airflow around the plane causes the missile to risk hitting the plane itself upon separation, which is definitely something that nobody wants. So, there is a massive design work and test work to ensure that these two conditions are met. So, once mechanical compatibility and uh, safe launch are guaranteed, there is a new class of issues that need to be addressed. The missile needs to be able to communicate with the airplane systems and all the avionics that is on board of the plane. Why? The weapon actually needs a lot of data from the launching plane. Well, the missile needs to be switched on, needs to warm up, maybe. It needs to do some self-test to verify that the weapon is, and crucially, active radar holding missile, which is basically a medium or long range missile, do expect to be given a fire solution. A fire solution is basically a bunch of data that tell the missile what to do when it clears the plane, when it uh, just after the launch, tells where the target is expected to be and how to fly to get there. It is a computer-to-computer -computer communication and normally on military planes you don't have all the abstraction layers that you have in, uh, let's say, uh, civil computer programming. So the missiles receive some very simple strings of data. We may consider them sort of text messages in a protocol format that the missile is actually able to interpret. Now, one of the possible fire solutions that the plane can tell the missile to adopt is find a target yourself. That is, Try to do a lock-on before launch. We have spoken about this in a previous video. In this scenario, the missile switches on its own radar set and tries to find a target by itself. If the missile locks onto the target and the pilot is happy with that, then the missile can be fired. Using the lock-on before launch mode, even a plane that has no radar to identify the target, has no infrared search and track, which is something you can use at uh, as shorter distances to do the same thing, or even in the absence of a data link that is one of those modern data links that can exchange uh, these targeting information between platforms, even in this situation, with lock-on before launch, a plane could use an active radar or missile to attack a target. Now the point is, why would you like to do that? My initial answer to Alex was, well, it's quite unlikely that you would like to do 
anything like that because the range of the radar in the missile is not much different than the range of the infrared um, homing missiles which are actually weapons designed for shorter ranges so there are basically a level of overlap between these two weapons and since the infrared ones tend to be cheaper simpler you may want to use them then I had a second thought because it could be under specific conditions actually a rather clever idea the first element to consider is that since the active radar homing missiles are normally medium or long-range weapons their engine tends to burn longer this means that kinematically at shorter ranges they have the big advantage that they can maneuver for quite a long time with their engine on and this if you have seen my videos about the energy is a big 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 advantage and actually if you see what the french or the russians are doing with their families of air to air missiles where they have a standard uh, airframe and a standard engine but different kind of systems um, you actually realize that it sort of makes sense the second element to consider is that all the large air forces have training jets there are jets so they have relatively high performances they're used for training so they sort of roughly replicate the performances of uh, more advanced planes they are definitely not the same i'm not saying this but they are the type of plane that gets the closest to actual fighter jets and uh, during the cold war it was given for granted that these large fleet of trainers would have been armed with yeah whatever was available and would have been thrown into battle if a large-scale confrontation with the soviet union would have happened i think it is an interesting idea even today because in case of a long conflict you will have the same problems the frontline planes will suffer from losses and there will be need for a replacement that can be built very quickly so could be a good idea in some cases to replace them with less performing but nonetheless effective planes i think this is a clever idea and i think it should be given some thought by modern air forces and um, in these conditions then you may want to give uh, uh, some more teeth to these kind of planes so to give a final answer to alex's question the answer is yes and in certain conditions could be a clever idea. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.